How's it going? This is Martin Ross just hitting you up with some information for a DX100. If you're like me and your DX100 comes into block mode and you can't see any of anything that you programmed in your um, DX100, you can't touch any of the buttons, it doesn't change. Don't worry guys, it doesn't mean it's over. What this means is that there's a battery voltage meter going on that it can't power up this um, screen here. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to open this DX100 up for you guys and I'm going to get you the right part. It's a, a CR2032. If I get it wrong, I'll put it in the description. But it's a clock battery is what I like to call it. It's a circle battery. And you're going to have that issue with this. But the problem is it is soldered to the board. Okay? If you don't know how to do it, I'm going to tell you, uh, if you're not very good with it, um, with soldering, please do not try this at home. Get a professional to do it. I don't advise um, you to do this whatsoever if you uh, don't know what you're doing. But if you're like me and you don't have the money and you really want to learn it yourself, go ahead. I do suggest that you get yourself one, get yourself some soldering two. I would highly suggest getting yourself some flux, you know, to help out with that. And two, get yourself at least a 40 volt solder, um, soldering um, gun, okay? So uh, we're going to go ahead and get this started, all right? I'll be taking pictures in this uh, video, just in case my camera dies, you'll have pictures too. Because I'm running a DSLR that pulls a lot of power for 1080p and I want you to see, to see the clearest of the clear here. Unfortunately, I've had this book done already on this, so I will have to do a heat gun to glue to melt it so I could easily uh, unscrew this. Because I'm assuming the way he fixed this he heat gunned it to the board because it'll probably fall out when I open it. Another tip for you folks out there, please, please, please sure that you don't lose any of your uh, screws. Remember when I first opened this before I had it maintenance. Um, I lost most of the screws to this bad boy. And if you know me, I don't. I no longer use this machine. It was a good machine, but I found better. Um, not saying this isn't as good as it, its, pre um, it's uh, predecessor, but it's outdated. Very outdated. No USB. You know, it's very. Um, Archaic, in my opinion. Not like I said, it's just my opinion. But I moved on from this bad boy. And again, I had mine uh, maintenance, so a lot of the stuff that I'm doing right here is unnecessary for you. You probably already popped yours out. Again, I'm kind of nervous here because the guy that did it um, glued this together. Okay, so unfortunately I had to put a hot glue gun to it so it damaged the outer side, but as long as it closes, which it will, it will um, work. Okay, so now that I have it opened, okay, you're going to notice, uh, obviously you notice the damage in my board, right? <laughs> That's why this will never work because it's all cracked here, um, which sucks. Oh well, you know, I can't have everything work, right? As long as the batteries work, you know. But this is the main reason why I got rid of this board is because it's outdated and you can't get it fixed. I mean, if you wanted to get it fixed, really, you have to pay a lot out of pockets. And honestly, it's not worth it when I can buy something brand new that'll give you the same thing. And this is the reason why I am always a champion for the Korg XL or the Micro Korg um, original. So I'm going to hit these screws here. Let me make sure I take a picture too. Because I'm all about getting you guys information, you know. Okay, so it looks like right here is that CR battery I was talking about. It should be CR2032. 
You can get them, I think it's the CR2020s or at the dollar store. I don't know which, but you can get them at the dollar store. I got mine at Walmart in a pack, but you can probably find somewhere cheaper. Again, guys, when you, before you open this, make sure it's not plugged in, and if you have batteries, make sure the batteries are out. Um, it's, safe to say, it's safe to say you could, if you don't see it, you pull this bad boy off right here. But again, I'm going after this thing. I believe it's right here. I'm going off the knowledge of the fact that my father used to do cards, and he used these batteries, and when the LCD didn't work, we changed the batteries, so... That's my assumption, and really I'm making this video on the fly. I figured I could show you guys some tricks, and um, yeah, again, I switched the video up because I had this glue to the top and I couldn't lift the board up, because the original guy who I had fixed this for me um, had to break it off, and I think maybe he may have broken the board. The board was pre-cracked already, but again, right here is the reason why I got rid of this board. It's all cracked, and it's really hard to find a board like this because this is the brain, so you might as well just buy a new board, right? <laughs> so those who are um, a champion for the D, it's 100. Sorry to hate, hate to say it, but, you know, it's outdated. And it's always good to go to a new board. There's plenty of other boards that do way more. So here we are, and this is our little chip that we want to remove, okay? If the soldering braid doesn't work, you also can get yourself a sucker. What this will do is just suck up all the solder that you have here. So I melt this, it'll melt, it looks like it melts better like that. Put it over it and suck it up. And then, I don't know if you can see it, but I'll pop it right there. Bam, the solder right here is now off. Okay, let's do it again. I think you guys just heard it, but the pin just dropped, but I want to suck up all the solder to get me a nice, cool thing there. Okay, and here is your battery. Please make sure that you get the polarity right, okay? So this right here will be Negative, this is positive. So on. <clears throat> so I've popped it off with some pliers here, just dug in the edge there, popped it in with pliers. Again, you can just buy the SRV with a already solder tag. Um, but you don't have to as long as you have a connection. You should be good. Make sure you keep this though separated just for the idea that you don't want this to um, be incorrectly polarized. All I'm doing is rooting it and getting that edge. You just want to get that edge. Once I get the edge, I can just pop it out. This is a lot of work, yeah. But uh, again, I figured I'd share my knowledge with you guys so you can get an idea on what you need to do. I don't want to do that. Let's pop. See, just pop it off the solder. Popped it off at one end, and then you just pop it off the other. point to this is that you're just after um, getting contact, not the plug-in, uh, uh, uh. but you want contact, metal, metal contact this bad boy, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to 
put this back on the board. And I'm going to be cheap and put some tape down to hold it for me just so I can do it. I, I already put um, flux on here, so I should just zip it right in there. Yeah, just the way I need it. All that contact in there. Perfect. So it's just as if I got it the original way. Here's a tip, guys. If you want that perfect solder, remember what I said in the beginning. Make sure that you solder your the hell out of your um, <clears throat> the hell out of your uh, tip. That way you don't have any accidents, you know. all plugged in, we're all set. Okay. Again, this is just to fix the screen if it's blank or doesn't work where you have the boxes, the black boxes, and you can't see what the hell is being said. Typically, it's going to be your battery. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you right now, Folks, please, 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 please check your contrast. I'll show you your contrast at the end. I wish I should have showed that in the beginning, but again, this video is like one of those videos where it's like, ah, I can teach somebody something, and bam, I came up with this video. Hopefully, I taught you guys how to do it without having to go in and spend a lot of money. Again, a dollar store battery, CR2032 is enough. That's all I'm using. Again, I got a messed up board in the beginning because I had it redone professionally. And, uh, yeah, I got a bad circuit board, which is broken on here. And to get this working, I actually ended up melting it. Oh, well. But I had to get that epoxy glue off. People want that epoxy glue, right, Dilio? Anyway, um, yeah, so that's a D D100. Being fixed right before your very eyes, right before your very eyes. You can't even visualize. Visualize. Now the batteries are all in and set here. Previously you saw it not work. Let's see what it does now. Here we are. It is now working. Welcome TRCP. And these are just my programs that I had <laughs> on my patches. So yeah, but you see that though now my setting if I had the contrast, hopefully you could see everything that I got in there, it should be working. Um, you know, all my banks should be playing here. Let me see, I haven't used this in a while. So, um, I want to change my bank. Yeah, so. But yeah, that's it. My banks are all loaded up, ready to go. Buttons all work. Everything's set. Again, it's very cheap, what I did. Very cheap. 
I really hope you enjoyed what you watched today and this is to fix your LCD screen on your DX100. Um, if you have any questions let me know in the comments. Again guys, I used a, 20, a CR2032 battery. Um, then I use my soldering again. I equip myself with 40 watt. You want to always use some solder, braids. You want to use a uh, right here's what we call um, you know flux for the soldering, and then a solder sucker to suck up all that solder dust. You know, and um, I'm back and I'm ready to go. I got my screen working and everything. Again, please remember though, it could be the contrast that may not be working. So check that first, okay? But other than that, I got my DX100 ready to go and I'm ready to perform with it. And yeah, so it's all set. Uh, any questions you guys have, let me know. I'll leave as much descriptions uh, in the comments, uh, or <laughs> leave as much um, descriptions in the description. I know I messed up a lot, maybe in my uh, saying things with the video, but yeah, it's all ready to go. And yeah, I got my uh, program set and design and it's uh, ready for performance. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, please again uh, give me a like or a comment. Again, I'm not a professional. Uh, this is all basic. If you don't know what you're doing and you're not uh, brave enough to hop on soldering or practice soldering, please do not do this. I'm a professional. Do it. Again, I'm Martin Ross. Please subscribe to my channel. My Instagram is I am Martin Ross. Twitter is Martin L. Ross. And give me on Facebook, Martin Ross Music. Alright, thank you.